Everyone's a freak. No two bodies are the same. We all have unpleasant, wonderful, shocking and extraordinary features. We are all unique in our own way. But for centuries the word freak was used cruelly to describe people born with abnormal features or those able to perform extraordinary physical acts by contorting or misshaping their bodies. Using this as a benchmark, the following performer surely fits into that category. In today's episode of Unusual As Usual, we're going to be exploring the jaw-clenching act of Big Mouth, aka Three Ball Charlie. Three Ball Charlie, as his friends came to know him, was born in Nebraska, USA. He got his trademark nickname due to his extraordinary ability. His act reportedly involved him fitting his entire fist in his mouth. He could also fit a large appetizer plate in his mouth too. Apparently, he would train for this act by holding a plate in his mouth for hours on end, which helped his jaw become accustomed to being in this position without locking up. Although, in reality, genetics probably played a much greater role in his ability. But the act he was most known for was stuffing a tennis ball, a golf ball and a billiard ball in his mouth at the same time, side by side. He would then whistle a tune while simultaneously juggling several balls. Little is known about his life other than that he toured the circus and sideshow circuit in the 1930s and was occasionally billed as the man with the largest mouth in America and Big Mouth. Although by far his most popular stage name was of course Three Ball Charlie. His act wasn't a grotesque act unlike the resident human pincushion, who would skewer his body with hat pins and needles. Nor was it an exotic act, designed to leave you a little hot under the collar, performed by the likes of the Hoochie Coochie Girls. Instead, Charlie's act was a variety act. He provided a mix of comedy and skill that was an essential ingredient in the sideshow tent. And that was it. That was pretty much his act in a nutshell. He toured the circuit throughout the 1930s and made a relatively decent income from his unique skill, until eventually he faded into obscurity and retired from the sideshow to pursue other interests. Allegedly, he performed several variations of his act with lemons, apples, candles and many other objects, even going as far as performing an act dubbed the All-American Hero, where he stuffed the ingredients for an American breakfast in his mouth, a hard boiled egg, a tomato and an unpeeled orange, whilst he whistled the national anthem and simultaneously juggled three baseballs. Mr F. C. Bostock, brother of showman Mr E. H. Bostock, who part owned Bostock and Womble's Animal Circus, wrote to him with the suggestion that Three Ball Charlie may be quite popular in England and described Charlie's act as an extraordinary ability in what I might term an assisted yawn. He is a thorough good fellow, good natured, good tempered, making heaps of money and spending it recklessly. The British tour never materialised, but at some point in the late 1930s he did end up working for Cash Miller in his travelling museum, where a photo shows him with one leg and wearing a wooden support. However, it's unknown how he ended up losing his left leg, and if that was in part the reason he never made it across the Atlantic. After this photo was taken, he seemed to fade away into obscurity. However, his story doesn't end there. In 1972, graphic designer John Van Harmersveld was approached by the Rolling Stones to design the cover art for their new album, Exile on Main Street. It was decided that an old photo of Charlie would be used as the cover art. This subsequently led to thousands of posters and t-shirts to circulate around the world with the now famous Three Ball Charlie portrait printed on them. The t-shirts were worn by several famous faces including obviously Charlie Watts and Keith Richards but also Jack Black, Axel Rose, Kelly Osbourne and many others. 
Then in February 1995, Three Ball Charlie's portrait made its way to the front page of the Journal of Strange Phenomena, issue 74, by a magazine called 14 Times, accompanied with the headline, A Mouthful of Mysteries. So why on earth did he do it? Maybe he wanted to push the boundaries of what was previously thought humanly possible. Maybe it was an avant-garde performance piece used to symbolize the struggles of everyday life. Or maybe he just thought to himself, hey, I wonder if I can fit this tennis ball in my mouth. I guess the real answer we'll never really know for sure. But what we do know is in recent years, a video made it onto the internet that almost instantly went viral. The star of the clip, a young man named Francisco Domingo Jacqueline, who became an overnight sensation when the video of his incredible mouth stunts were uploaded to YouTube. It took two years, but eventually the clever folks at Guinness World Records managed to track him down in his hometown of Angola. Here, he was known as the Angolan jaw of all. And now, Jacqueline has earned the title of the world's widest mouth, measuring 17 centimeters, that's 6.69 inches across. Jacqueline's mouth is so wide, he can fit an entire 330 ml can of soda in his mouth, sideways. But even more amazing is the fact that despite putting a cork can in his mouth almost every single day, and having never visited a dentist in his 25 years on earth, he's got a perfectly healthy set of teeth. In fact, big mouth competitions have begun to pop up all over the world where contestants have the task of cramming their mouth with a variety of items, including candles, straws, beer bottles, cigarettes, coffee cups, and much more, in a bid to find out who will be crowned the Big Mouth King. Much like Three Ball Charlie, Jacqueline has his genetics to thank for his unusual gift. He suffers from a connective tissue disorder which gives him the capability to perform these malleable mouth moves. Although Charlie's career was short-lived, his legacy still continues, and even to this day, in some of the Ripley's Believed or Not auditoriums around the world, a life-size wax bust of Three Ball Charlie can be found, complete with his trademark tennis ball, golf ball, and billiard ball in place. And there we have it, the jaw-clenching act of Big Mouth Three Ball Charlie, who didn't seem to have any problem with knowing when to keep his mouth shut. Would watching this act make you laugh or make you a little queasy? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week. And remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more peculiar people, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video and if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about make sure you add it to the comment section below.